And greetings. Uh, I'm Dr. Andrei Fedorov. I'm a associate chair for graduate studies and I welcome all of you here at the Woodruff School. Uh, I hope you will enjoy your visit, uh, seeing our wonderful community of students, faculty, and uh, I'll let you hear words of our students on the tips of what to expect and what to do during your visit. Cheers. Hello, uh, my name is Giancarlo Rivera Crespo. I'm a first year mechanical engineering student in Dr. Ku's Biofluids and Medical Device Research Group. Uh, I'm from Vega Baja, Puerto Rico, and I did my undergrad in the University of Puerto Rico, Mayo West. Hi, I'm Prachi. I'm a second year PhD student at the Woodruff School of Mechanical Engineering, but I do research in the aerospace department uh, within Georgia Tech. My advisor is Dr. Valdelakis, and uh, we work on optimal guidance and control and uh, learning techniques to solve value functions. My name is Shakeb Musa. I am originally from Afghanistan, and uh, I was actually a transfer student to Georgia Tech from a small college uh, from Savannah. And um, I did my undergrad here at Georgia Tech and I stayed on for uh, graduate school. Uh, my thesis research is on the uh, experimental evaluation of the thermal hydraulics uh, of uh, cooling designs for uh, fusion reactors. And I'm actually a 60 year PhD student in the ME school. Hi, my name is Bettina Arkhurst and I am a second year PhD student here at Georgia Tech. I am under Professor Shannon Yi in the Steel uh, Lab, the Scalable Thermal Energy Engineering Laboratory. And we're set up here in CNES, or the Carbon Neutral Energy Solutions Lab. The main thing you should do for your grad visit is contact professors beforehand. If you already did this, this is great, but if you haven't done it, you should start doing it right now as soon as you see this video. Uh, you should ask them if they have funding for students and if they're going to take students this semester. That's the main thing that's going to be deciding what who you should interview with and who you should, you should talk to. Make sure that you talk to other students who are coming on this visit. These are the students that you're going to share the space in academia with for the next five to ten years based on how long you want to stay in this, uh, in this area and you really want to know who you are going to work with, collaborate with, and who is going to be around and doing the same things that you are interested in. It's important and I would encourage you to go out there and create that network early on. I think uh, to make the best of your visit to Georgia Tech, you should make it a priority to visit the labs that you're interested in and uh, even go for a lunch or an after hours beer with the students that are already working in those labs. I think also doing some self-exploration on your part is really helpful so that as you're coming to meet different professors and potentially your future classmates, um, you can have a bit of a sense of what you're really passionate about, um, what you hope to do in the future and where you'd want to work. Good questions to ask the faculty. First one is funding. Second one is what projects they currently have going on. You don't want to be stuck with somebody who has funding but is working on something you're not interested in. Second question would be to the actual students. How do they like the culture of the lab? Does everybody get along? Does the professor seem approachable? Does he give good feedback? These are all questions you should just sort of naturally discuss with the students that are currently in the lab. If for some reason you can't find any of the students to talk to you about this, you should take that as a hint. I think you all already know to ask about their research and what kind of work the lab focuses on. But moreover, there are more specific questions like what does a professor have in plan for his student on this particular project that he's hiring for? Are there any five-year goals or milestones that you need to be meeting? How should you be preparing for qualifying exams? What kind of classes will you be taking? What is the general expectation between this mentor advisor figure and you as a student that will enhance this partnership and both of you will be extremely productive together? A good question for faculty is uh, how long does your graduate students uh, take to graduate? Um, how do you know when they're ready to graduate? And um, how sure are you that you will have funding for them to graduate? And good questions for students would be, how long does it take for your fellow students to graduate? And uh, what's the work environment like? Uh, how is the management style of your advisor? Some people are 
essentially looking over their students' shoulders, while others give their students infinite um, power over their time. So you have to find something that fits your lifestyle and your life goals well. That way when you're in it for five years, um, you're not disappointed or discouraged uh, for reasons other than your research. When it comes to grad students, I would say some good questions to ask are really getting a sense of um, their experiences at Georgia Tech. So things that they liked and didn't like, um, their experiences in the lab under their advisor, what their group culture is as well, and um, getting a sense also of the work-life balance in the lab is very helpful. Um, so definitely uh, go out and really ask grad students what their experiences are because you'll be in their shoes very soon. What I wish I knew is there's actually quite a lot of groups uh, for things that outside of research, outside of classes and all these things. And it, you know, depending on where you're coming from, it might be a little bit hard to make friends, but there is the community here that you can find and you can use to whatever your interest is. If you like Dungeons and Dragons or if you like playing board games, you'll find the group for that in tech and your life isn't going to be all research. Everybody wants to be fine manners or Einstein or something with their research, but you have to take a day off. So, and that's something I wish somebody had told me last semester. So I did my undergrad at Georgia Tech and uh, as, as you know, the graduate school and undergrad is two different experiences and I wish that I knew that contrary to undergraduate degrees, grad school isn't focused on classes, it is focused on research and the quicker you learn to separate classes from research and your performance in graduate school uh, versus your performance in classes, the quicker you will learn to be successful as a grad student. Focus on your research, let classes aid your research instead of something that you do first priority. So I wish I knew or I wish somebody had told me that you should have uh, a mentor that's not your advisor. So I always reached out to my advisor for everything and um, uh, I think a lot of times it's better to have a mentor other than your advisor so you could go to your mentor for a lot of other things that are not related to your research. So when I was coming for my visitation weekend, I think the main thing I had wished that I'd known was um, when meeting with faculty members, they're the ones who decide who gets topper fellowships. Um, so that's basically, if you've heard of the Presidential Fellowship here at Georgia Tech and things like that, they're the ones who recommend um, you for that. So really come in prepared um, to meet with those faculty members and come in with some good questions because you want to be a standout candidate for those fellowships. So that's one thing I really wish I had known before coming in. Um, I think before starting graduate school, I wish I had more of a direction of the things I was really passionate about uh, because I think I had a vague idea of what I wanted to do, but I wasn't really as guided as I would have liked to be. So I think using this time particularly um, as you're making a shift into a new phase of your life to really think about your future goals. Um, yeah, that's something I wish I would have done more of. Some more internal reflection. <laughs>